All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean and install the project from last year, make sure I've got everything set up, and then I'm going to bootstrap a new day. This is going to set up all of my files for me so that I can drop the input in and then actually code the thing. So I dropped in the sample output, or input rather. Now I'm taking a couple of notes on what needs to happen. Um, typically in a coding challenge, it's best to just jump right in and take down a few notes so you know exactly what you're doing. Um, this prompt, we wanted to see how many calories per elf uh, we would get. And so we wanted to find the prompt. The question was the most calories, which elf has the most and what's the calorie number. So the sample data that we have is basically a big list of calories. Um, I'm going to print it out here, as you can see. And so each elf is split by a blank string. And so we can see the first, the list, uh, the first elf has three different sets of calories or three snacks, if you will. The second elf has one, the third has two, the fourth has three, and the fifth apparently has one. So what we want to do is we want to break this up into separate lists or calories per elf. And we're going to do that by um, splitting it on the first string occurrence, right? Because that is the separator. This is pretty typical for advent of code. They have a lot of these where they will give you data in a very odd structure. You have to parse it out. Um, I got kind of stuck here for about a minute or two trying to decide how best to do this. That's honestly what a lot of coding is, is just thinking on the best approach to something. So I decided that I needed to go ahead and do a for loop over this, split up the calories by elf into different sections. So I said, if an entry was a string or an empty string, we are going to go ahead and split that. And I will get there in just a second. We needed to determine the total calories that the elf had because that's what the prompt wanted. Um, I would later come to find that out myself because I accidentally decided that they wanted the index, which is not correct. And so what we're doing here is we are creating our own list called calories per elf. We're appending um, the number. You obviously can't add strings and integers together in Python. And so I was trying to figure out where I needed to slap the integer and I found it was right there. Um, we're getting none here because we aren't actually returning anything. We're getting zeros here because I forgot that I need to reset them outside of the for loop. And so I went ahead and pulled that out. And I needed to also do it um, when we switched to a new elf. So I added it here as well. Uh, I spent a little bit of time thinking through this, which cost me. And there we go. We have the final answer, which is 24,000, which is the sample data. Um, I'm going to sort it backwards so that we get the top one. Uh, I would later come after the after the challenge was done that I should have just used max, but you know, when you're under pressure, you start to forget things. And so the sample data works, so I needed to switch it to my own input and um, found out that I needed to, or I thought that I needed to get the index of the elf that had the most calories, not the number of calories. Admin of code is pretty tricky this way where they'll often give you um, input and then they will expect one thing for prompt one and expect another thing for prompt two. I here thought that the index was 83 because the 83rd elf had the most calories, but actually they needed the number. So I went and grabbed something quickly off Stack Overflow to get the index. That was probably way too much um, and I didn't even need it. So here again, I could have done max, but I decided to do the reverse sort and we got the 70,000. Now prompt two, it wanted the top three elf calorie total. So what it is, I kind of cheated and I went and just printed it out onto the console, the top three, and then summed them up. And later, as you can see, I'm coming back and actually cleaning up the code so that the answer will be given to me. So at this point, I have finished advent of code day one. Uh, I've punched in my answer. I finished first uh, on my particular leaderboard, which was really exciting. So now I'm coming back and I am setting this up so that we can run our test suite against it. Um, the reason that I have a test suite for something as simple as this is because I want to lock in those answers. I want to make sure that my algorithm that I've written is going to work for years to come and that anybody else that's using this could also follow suit if they so desired. Um, but it just ensures that if I ever come back to refactor an algorithm, that it will continue to work even if I change something because those answers are locked in in the assertions of the test. So we're going to go ahead and punch those numbers in here to the test suite. This is what the actual prompt for the day looks like. So there's, we've got two prompts, day one, part one, part two. 
Uh, typically with Advent of Code and any coding challenge, I've found that it's best to skip the story part as much as possible. Although intriguing, it doesn't lend itself to fast code completion. So what I did here is I pretty much skipped straight to the input data to see what we were dealing with. And I could see that there were a bunch of numbers here split by a new line. And that would be how my actual input data would look as well. Um, you can see the word calories here is um, all bolded. And so I knew that these were calories that we were dealing with. If we continue to scroll down here, we do see some criteria, uh, which is actually telling us exactly what we need to know. So first off, the first stuff is carrying food with 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 calories, which is a total of 6,000. You can keep going down the bullet points and see that they're basically summing the total calories per elf. And then the prompt says, how many total calories is that elf carrying? Um, so that's what the prompt looked like for that. Prompt number two, obviously right beneath it, they wanted the top three elves. Um, and so cheated a little bit, um, got the quick answer, and then refactored the code later to make it run uh, nice. Um, so that's pretty much it. After that, we went ahead and we run the test suite. We punched in the numbers, the assertions rather, for what the uh, input, my input would give as an output. Everybody's is different, um, but this way it would lock it in for me. And then I ran the test suite just to make sure that that passed, and it did. And so we are all good to go. And that is Admin of Code, day one, 2022. Join me again tomorrow for the next set.